Hey guys, I would like to show you how to fix uh, software issue with BlackBerry or how to update it because uh, I tried to update BlackBerry from version 5 to 6 I covered uh, you can use BlackBerry desktop software in fact but every time when I tried it didn't help me at all so I looked on the internet and I found uh, here we can see different images with software issue wherever it is so I had a couple of blackberries and I tried to fix with this desktop software it didn't help me at all so what you need to do first you need to go on that website right and you need to download the software for your blackberry mine is 9700 bolt and it's on the version uh, 5 if you want to see the version you need to go here in settings you will see about it says you blackberry 9700 here you see version version 5 the recent the most recent version is version 6 so i'm gonna i already downloaded it on that website I will put in the description so you can and this side looks like this okay so you choose your region choose your carrier in my case it's a North American Bell Mobility blah 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 when you will press it will you will follow some screens it will ask you to fill the form you can put the fake email you don't need to put your email you need to choose what agree on agreements blah 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 and so finally you will get to this page press download once downloaded you will go you need to install this here it's in fact what this is what was downloaded also you need to install blackberry desktop software okay okay next step you need to connect your BlackBerry to the micro USB cable and to the laptop to install all drivers. It's an important step. Next, we go. In my case, it's a Windows 32 bits, so you need to find this folder. Uh, it should be Common Files Recession Motion App Loader. In case of 64-bit windows, it will be could be different. Okay, so could be so in, you need to check two program files folders. I believe it will be in program files to the x86 common files recession motion uploader. So you need to choose that path. You need to go in that folder. Here you will find vendor XML. This one. You need to delete important step because it will not allow you to do what you want to do so I delete this definitely here you can see loader but we will need to use command line okay so I go to command line you see so I need to go by this path what I already showed you so I will copy it from here Control C go here and type cd right click paste and now i'm in a, that particular uh, uh, folder so next comment what we need to type here it's this loader slash no gfm i believe it's about java machine so I do the same loader no slash no GVM JVM like that. Here you can see loader no GVM. Type enter. Okay, now you can see the wizard. It says something USB pin blah blah blah. I just press next, I do nothing. Now phone rebooting is rebooting we we just wait a little bit 
as you can see it's trying to install the driver we need to wait we will do this to make it faster this uh, method is uh, this method suits in fact the most in fact any model as I know I tried a lot of different blackberries and it worked for for the most of them not even for the most for, for all of them it doesn't matter what the model is 8900 blackberry torch blackberry curve whatever it is any of them just download the right version for it that's it as you can see it's still trying to install the driver but I got the screen what I need in fact this is what you need to see sometimes you will get the error but just wait okay and it error this error will disappear and you will get that screen now you can choose the languages so I will choose English French Spanish and I will choose the rest of what I see here so you will get YouTube uh, this both uh, East Station I don't choose because I don't need it okay so I choose everything we can find here Twitter Facebook YouTube wherever it is Doku all of this okay that's it so I press next it showed me the list of software what it will install a previous finish now you can see the progress it's a raisin application and here you can see the driver has been installed and also we can see the window like restart now of course not we press on restart restart later Doing this, I would like to show you the, also the very useful comment. This one. It's very useful when you got uh, BlackBerry what's always trying to push you to use the password. For example, you, you don't like that feature, but if uh, the phone was set up with uh, higher security, it means what kind of administrator could set up it before and so it will force you to always use the password it's kind of annoying feature for me so you can do the same you just connect your blackberry to the laptop you wait until it will install drivers you need to remove you need to check if, if where is the vendor dot xml so you go in you go in that folder what i already showed you here you launch uh, command line from that folder and you type this uh, loader space slash reset to factory and it will reset the phone to the initial state with no any restrictions or password prompt okay now you can see here okay guys so i waited for around two minutes maybe three i left it and uh, finally i got the the logo screen so continue yeah blah 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 Okay. Exit. 
now you can see the current version is definitely version 6 because before we didn't have that bar on the top and bar and bar so you type this and bar device version and now it's showing me as you can see blackberry 97 smartphone blah 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 version 6 bundle blah 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 platform this is what i was need so now you can see this method works properly we just need to wait until the loading screen will appear uh, not loading but uh, the blackberry will load the, the os okay thank you very much for watching please press on like if you like my video thank you